Arsenal's under-18s begin their home campaign against Chelsea. Last week, they thumped Brighton 4-0, and new coach Franz de Cad will be hoping for more of the same this morning. Ben Sheaf and Josh De Silva make their first starts for the Gunners. Ruben Samet for Chelsea, and again. It's a heavy touch from Ugbo, and it's Sheaf that's been able to take advantage for Arsenal. Now it's with Hines, that's a lovely ball in his release, Mavadidi, big chance here, good save from Bradley Collins, down to his left, touching the ball past the post, and Mavadidi denied an opening goal for Arsenal, who took full advantage of the heavy touch from Ugbo, and broke in numbers. Bowler to take the throw. Into Willett, back to Bowler again. Good strength to hold off. Christy Davis, Willock again, surrounded by blue shirts, uses Bowler, who delivers the cross in, it is Mavadidi's header and it's Arsenal in front. A scorer on the opening day against Brighton and a scorer here as Arsenal kick off their home campaign. Cross was from Bowler and the cross looped over the head of Bradley Collins in the Chelsea goal and Arsenal lead. It's a crunching challenge from Casey Palmer, De Silva's back on his feet but Chelsea can come forward with Christy Davis he's lost the silver and now he needs some support Arsenal have men back touched on to Ali decides to take strike he's stuck a deflection and Chelsea have equalised a few minutes before the break it's come off the head of George Dobson as Ali took strike from the edge of the area they've rarely threatened but now they're level ball that won't reach its intended target of Samet. Lovely touch by De Silva and he's on the ball again. It's a lovely weighty pass into the feet of Fiennes and he's pulled it across to Mavadini and Arsenal are back in front. Just past the hour mark and it's Mavadini's second of the game. A lot of credit goes to Josh De Silva who played a big pass at the start of the move. Kept Arsenal in possession. Released Hines whose pinpoint pass set up Mavadidi. Going into the feet of Willock, turns away from his man, and continues to go Willock, Chelsea deal with the danger, falls to Donovan, maybe the danger isn't over, and it isn't because it's three now for Arsenal, and it's the substitute Harry Donovan who picks up possession and blasts it beyond Collins in the Chelsea goal. Arsenal's lead extended, two goals in six minutes, See them lead by three goals to one. Yeah, bringing the ball forward. Chelsea just can't shrug him off in even time for a bit of showboating before releasing it to this near side to Robinson, who did have Johnson overlapping but decides to come in field. Donovan, keep ball from Arsenal. Very impressive, passing and moving, looking for the next opportunity to maybe extend this lead further and this may be the opportunity for Robinson who scores a special goal for him and Arsenal's lead extended it's now a three goal advantage over their London neighbours as Robinson has the easy task to tap home Palmer and to Scott Goes past Donovan. Arsenal still working extremely hard. Numbers behind the ball determined that Chelsea won't score another one even with seven minutes remaining. And maybe Arsenal can go and improve it. Robinson on this near side. Up against Clark Salter and goes beyond him. He may have to do this all alone. Robinson, oh, that's a brilliant goal. And it's five now for Arsenal. Second of the game from Robinson. Building on the one he scored last week on the opening day at Brighton. A very impressive first home outing for the Young Gunners as Robinson does it all himself from the halfway line up against two giant defenders in Clark Salter and then Brady and a very neat finish. Franz, you must be really satisfied after that. Yeah, if you can beat Chelsea uh, for the second time the, uh, this year, the first time um, was in pre-season at that tournament. But now for the league is uh, a little bit more special, of course. Then, yeah, I'm happy about that. 
Were you impressed with this, the way your side pressed on at 3-1, maybe could have relaxed, but you went on and scored a couple more goals? Yeah, because, um, you know, for Chelsea it was hard at that time. And uh, they, because they played in the first part of the second half, they played better than us. And then we scored. And uh, yeah, that was hard for them. And uh, yeah, Terrell came in and he liked, he liked to score because he lost a good friend uh, yesterday. I didn't know, but he was eager to, uh, to score some goals and he did. So it was nice for him and nice for us as a team. I was going to say, there were two standout performances. Your number nine, Steffi Mavadidi, and then Tyrell Robinson off the bench. What do you make of those two? Yeah, that's great. And uh, even uh, for Steffi, because uh, in preseason uh, he, had, he had a hard time scoring goals. So we spoke a little bit. And uh, last week he scored against Brighton and today two times. So it was very nice for him and good for the team.